Good morning and a really warm welcome to this our service this morning on Sunday the 14th of March and wherever you are I hope that you feel a, a warm welcome in joining together uh, in worship this morning and today being the 14th of March uh, we have uh, Mothering Sunday today and that will form part of the focus of our service today as we give thanks for mums and as well as that in giving thanks as we were thinking about last week we were thinking how uh, thankfulness gratitude is not just saying thank you but is truly love in action when it's really expressed and we'll think about that through our service as we give thanks to God uh, for his love to us as well as uh, our love to one another and showing that as love in action. So we join together now in worshipping God together this morning and we start with our opening praise which is that lov lovely uh, song, He's Got the Whole World in His Hands. Let's join to sing. Heavenly Father, we praise you for the way in which you care for each one of us. Like a good parent, you love us, whoever we are, whatever we do. Even though we frequently disappoint you, you are always there, concerned for our welfare, forgiving us. We know we don't always treat each other as you want us to. Lord God, forgive us and help us to be more loving. There are times when we insist on getting our own way, despite what others feel. Lord God, forgive us and help us to be more loving. Faithful God, you have loved us with an endless love, sending your Son Jesus to show us the true meaning of forgiveness. Lord God, forgive us and help us to be more loving. And we join together in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. Our reading today comes from Colossians chapter 3 and reading verses 12 to 17, where Paul is speaking to the church family at Colossus 
about their new life in Christ and what that should look like. So, chosen by God for this new life of love, dress in the wardrobe God picked out for you. Compassion, kindness, humility, quiet strength, discipline. Be even tempered, content with second place, quick to forgive an offence. Forgive as quickly and completely as the master forgave you. And regardless of what else you put on, wear love. It's your basic all purpose garment. Never be without it. Let the peace of Christ keep you in tune with each other, in step with each other. None of this going off and doing your own thing. And cultivate thankfulness. Let the word of Christ, the message, have the run of the house. Give it plenty of room in your lives. Instruct and direct one another using good common sense and sing. Sing your hearts out to God. Let every detail in your lives, words, actions, whatever, be done in the name of the Master Jesus, thanking God the Father every step of the way. Amen. In those verses, Paul is encouraging the whole church family at Colos to act in special ways towards each other. He encourages them always to show compassion and kindness, humility and gentle strength and love in their relationships with each other. And as we think about remembering mothers today, we can see how these are some of the wonderful things that we treasure so much about our mums. All the compassion and kindness that they show in caring for us and doing so much for us, all their humility so often in putting the rest of the family first, their quiet strength to keep going even when there are so many things and so many people to see to. And in and through all of that, the love that weaves through all that they are and do. There's a wee story about a primary school class that had been looking at uh, magnets and magnetism through the term and uh, the ability of magnets to uh, pick up metal things. And at the end of term, when it came to parents day, the head teacher asked the pupils, what is it that picks up things and begins with M? Mum came back the reply from the children. And our mums do so very, very much and care so much. So it's lovely to have another Mother's Day in which to remember and say thank you. And I wonder for you, uh, our younger families, if you are tuning in and uh, the young folks today, how you said thank you uh, or still going to say thank you to your mums today. I wonder if, for example, you gave your mum breakfast in bed perhaps which can always be a special treat perhaps you gave her a card perhaps you got very creative and actually made a lovely card to give to your mum and say thank you and how much you love her perhaps you gave chocolates as another treat for your mum today or perhaps you gave or are going to give a lovely bunch of flowers just like these lovely tulips or perhaps a plant uh, as well 
all these things are so lovely and they're special treats and special ways to make today uh, lovely for mums. But I'm sure it would be lovely for mums if we were to say thank you more often each and every day when we can. We were thinking about thankfulness and gratitude last week uh, in our service and the thought that gratitude is more than saying thank you. Gratitude is love in action. And there's another story about a teenager who says when she sees her mum get up to do the washing up, oh mum, don't do that. It's Mothering Sunday and you deserve a break. Leave it till tomorrow. We might have a wee chuckle there, but how much more wonderful in our families that we would say any day of the year, oh mum, you deserve a break. Let me do that. Whether it's the tidying up, helping to prepare dinner, doing the washing up, the drying up, or filling, emptying the dishwasher, doing the ironing, or putting the clothes away. There are so many ways we can show gratitude, thankfulness to our mums through love in action, day by day. And we can widen that out for all of us in life as we express our gratitude to God for his tender love to us. As God says to his people on one occasion when they were in deep trouble, as a mother comforts her child, so I'll comfort you. And we have the awareness of God's deep love for us in sending his son Jesus and the gift of full and lasting life that we have through our faith in Jesus. As we show gratitude to God for this gift, we can let love flow in action in all kinds of different ways to family and friends and neighbours and strangers around us in different acts of love and kindness. As Mother Teresa once said, we can all do small things with great love. We're going to sing about saying thank you to God now for so many different things around us in our hymn for the beauty of the earth, which includes saying thank you for families. <laughs>
were singing there about the many things that we can give thanks for in the world around us and one of those things was and is flowers the beauty and the color and brightness of flowers and of course they are as we were thinking before very much a part of mother's day as we sometimes give our mums flowers or perhaps a lovely plant but also mother's day comes at a time of year when spring is on the doorstep and flowers are beginning to come again in our gardens and i'm out here in the front garden of the manse where i have enjoyed in the last few weeks just such a lovely display of beautiful snowdrops and crocuses bringing all the cheerfulness that they do uh, to the garden and do you know what really is amazing about these lovely flowers blooming is that just a few weeks ago they were under uh, eight to ten inches of snow in freezing cold conditions they were totally covered and hemmed in with snow for quite a few days and yet when the warmer weather suddenly came again and all the snow disappeared really quickly there they were these lovely snowdrops and crocuses still flowering after all that they look so fragile and you would have thought that under all of that snow they would have just been flattened and squashed uh, but there they are they're still adding such beauty and cheer to the garden and it's a lovely thing to see and a little thing to give thanks for just now but it also made me think that perhaps we have sometimes felt like those flowers when they were submerged in the snow especially for us through this COVID-19 pandemic. We've perhaps felt hemmed in and unable to do the things that we love in sharing in with family and friends. We felt burdened perhaps with worries and fears. We felt engulfed by extra things to see to. And on this Mother's Day, we can again think of mums in the forefront of so much of that quite often in juggling work and family life and homeschooling and the many other things that need to be done and having that bit less time for themselves. It can all have seemed overwhelming and exhausting, like these little flowers buried in snow and yet what what's got me through and hopefully it's true for each of us in different ways is an awareness of Jesus's love and presence he is always near and as he went through so much for us as he gave his life and died on the cross we can be sure that he is with us in our struggles. We can find him beside us to give us strength to carry on. Though we may feel so small and fragile like these little flowers, the crocuses and snowdrops, yet with Jesus' life spring within us, we can know his light and hope bearing us on and keeping us going. We'll sing again now and reflecting on God's love, Jesus' love with us to help us keep going and keep us burning as we sing the lovely praise uh, song, Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning.
Let us pray. Living God, you have poured out your blessing on us. You fill our life with good things. You continue to meet our needs and more. Today, as we make our offering to you, receive also our gifts of worship and praise, as a thank you for all you have done for us in Christ. Gracious God, on this special day of thanksgiving, we catch a glimpse of your love for us in the constant devotion, dedication and loving care you give to us all. You have called us to be your children and you care for us all as a mother nurtures her children. So you nurture us, leading us towards maturity in faith. For the intensity of that love, we give you praise. Loving God, we give thanks for all mothers, faced with the daily challenge of raising children, especially through this last year of COVID-19, with all the additional strains and challenges it has brought. The patience, dedication, devotion and joy they give each and every day. We pray for those who have dedicated their lives by adopting or fostering children when the natural parents have died or have been unable to care for them. For those who are separated from or who have lost a child, those who have suffered a miscarriage or abortion or have endured the continuing pain of a child's death. Grant to them the assurance of your continued comfort, love, and support. We pray for all who have lost hope, injustice, peace or reconciliation, in finding employment or having a home of their own, who despair of finding adequate food or clothing. Lord of all hopefulness, reach out, we pray, and grant new dreams, confidence and hope to all. Hear our prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
you so much again for joining today. And shall we close our service now by saying words of blessing over each other in the words of the grace. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God our Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and evermore. Amen. Thank you.